Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Ticket. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the iPad OS 13.4 that is going to bring brand new mouse and trackpad support to your iPad, which is going to be fantastic. And of course, in this video, we're going to demonstrate how that's going to work. So right over here, I have an Apple Magic Mouse. Now to set up the mouse is going to be very easy. So basically, you want to make sure that the mouse is turned on. Then all you do is go to your settings on your iPad and then simply go into the Bluetooth, make sure it is turned on, and then you're going to see right over here it says Counts Mouse Number 1. Uh, that's the name for my Magic Mouse here. So as soon as you see that here, you just tap on it, and it's going to connect to it just like it connects to any other Bluetooth device. Now, as you can see, right now they're connected, but there's no pointer on the actual screen because the pointer is going to be contextual, meaning it's only going to be available when you need it. So when I move the mouse, it's actually going to appear, as you can see, and it's going to be a little black dot, okay? And basically, if I come over here, I'll show you. You can scroll through the pages just like that, all right? So you just scroll through the pages just like this. If I was on an actual website, I can do the same thing. So let me just go over here. Take a look at this. Up and down, all right? So I can scroll through pages just like this using the actual mouse pointer. And if I were to go home, by the way, you can go side to side just like this, all right? And that's going to be using the actual mouse pointer. And of course, there's going to be a couple other features you want to be aware of. So basically, I'm going to move the mouse around and you can see uh, as I go onto an application, the black dot uh, merges with the actual application, all right? That's it. So it merges with the application. When you click it, it's going to launch the application. When I go down over here, uh, if I'm on any button, again, it changes a little bit color. I'm going to tap on not now right now. But if I were to go down here to the search icon, look at how it merges with that search icon. If I swipe over, it goes to radio. So when I click on it, it's going to launch the radio. Okay, if I click on search, uh, it's going to uh, bring up the search. Now, what if I want to pull the dock up when I'm inside an actual application? All I do, normally I would have to swipe up like this. But with the mouse, all I do, by the way, Notice how when I tap the screen, the dot disappears. So it's super contextual. The same applies to the trackpad. Uh, if you're not using the mouse or the trackpad, if you're not interacting with them physically, the dot disappears when you touch the screen so it doesn't look ugly. Now, if I come down over here, if I want to bring up the dot, I just click and bring it up. There we go. Click, click, and bring it up, all right? And from here, I can do all these things again. It merges with it. Now, if I want to go back home, there's two ways to do it. Uh, first, if I come down here, it merges with the black line. If I just click it, boom, it goes right back into the home screen, all right? Now, if I were to go back into an application, let's go to the Apple application. I will bring up the multitasking pane. Again, I go over here. I merge with that line with the mouse, and I simply press and pull up, and it brings up the multitasking, all righty? So that's fantastic. I'm loving it. Uh, other things you can do, of course. Uh, that's not all. Let's go to my notes application. I'm going to launch the notes application. By the way, you can press either this or this button, and that's just simply uh, select, all right? So can I select text? Of course. So look at the icon. It changes from the, from the dot right over here. When I come close to text, it changes to a cursor, and then I can press and select text as I please, all right? That's fantastic as well, which is going to make text selection very easy. So I can select this area here. Uh, I can go over here. I can tap on uh, cut and then I can go anywhere I want and I can just paste it. Now let's go back home for a second. And of course, one more cool thing is if I were to launch the App Store, for example, if I want to multitask uh, using the slide over, I can do that as well. So I go down here, all right, let me just bring up the dock. There it is. And I can grab one of these and put it right over here. And now what I'm doing is I am actually doing slide over with the actual mouse. All right. And that's basically all that you can do with the mouse, but you can see how nice it works, how contextual it is. So as I go over the applications, that's great. Okay, it merges with the actual application, and when I click on it, just turns on the application. Tap on that, turns it on. Go down here, go to the line, tap the bottom uh, button, and it goes back to home. Swipe back and forth, and if I am inside an application like the news application, I can swipe up and down. Now, there's one more thing you can do over here. Well, let me go back home, merge with that line at the bottom with the, with the mouse, click, all right? And then what I can do is I can actually, if I were over here or over here, I can swipe down real quick 
to bring up the Finder. So this would be a fantastic tool for a full setup. If I had a keyboard, the iPad, and the mouse, it's working great. Now let me show you one more thing for people that actually use the iPad uh, professionally. So let's uh, go over here. Let me just launch iMovie. I'm going to show you guys how it makes life easy on the iMovie. I have a little movie here. I'm going to tap on it. Let's tap on Edit, see what happens. So look at this. I have the timeline at the bottom. Normally I touch it with my fingers, but now I can use the mouse to go back and forth just like this. All right, I can select individual things over here. Uh, I can bring this exactly where I want to bring it. Click on that, for example, and then I can actually split it by tapping this button, and that's going to split that uh, clip. I can click over here. I can pick transitions and all that good stuff as I please that I've edited with the mouse. So it's going to work uh, with all these built-in Apple applications, and hopefully it's going to be compatible with other applications as developers make it more and more available. All right, so this is a quick update for the new mouse support. You can basically use any Bluetooth mouse that you want with iPad OS 13.4, which is going to be released very soon. Right now, I'm actually using uh, the developer's version of it. It's iPad OS 13.4. All right, any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?